Get ready, today's workout is upper body strong. We are focusing on the biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, and back today by doing tri-sets. That means they're back-to-back -back moves. We're gonna do three moves in a row, take a break, and repeat. Equipment for this workout is a variety of weights. My highest is gonna be a 25 pound dumbbell set, lowest is 12 and a half. You're gonna also need a bench if you wanna get into those dips and a mat. Each move is done for 45 seconds. Again, there's zero transition, but then you're gonna take a 30 second break to recover and come back and hit it hard. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so you do not miss any workouts. And if you want access to over 200 additional workouts, make sure you click that join membership below. Roll your shoulders back, brace the core, start to circle the arms back. I hope you guys are ready. This upper body strong, we're gonna be hitting it hard. And reverse that circle. Open the arms in T, thumbs reach back, and then you're gonna round like you're diving through. So inhale, open the chest, exhale, round. And then this time I want the hands behind the head, open the chest looking up, tuck chin down, round. You're gonna walk out. So hands tap the toes, walk out to plank. And then when you walk back, just tap the toes. Yeah. Don't come all the way up. And then take yourself back out. Yeah. Out to your plank, knees go down, tricep press, push ups here, so tuck in the elbows, chest to elbow height. Remember, we're still warming it up, so lock and load those elbows in. And this workout, this is gonna be about just taking your time and movements. Push back into child pose. And we're gonna be getting ready for the first movement. It's gonna be a clean and press using weights. I'm gonna be using my 15 pound dumbbells. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Clean and press, I got those 15s, what do you got? Shoulders roll them back, pull the weight up, press to the sky. Now remember, I want a moderate to heavy load here. This is not about speed, this is about getting a good range of motion, controlling the up and the down. And a clean and press. I keep it tight to my body. I pull it up to the chin. Come underneath the weight and press to the ceiling. Hammer curls. Grab a weight you need real quick. I'm going to go 20s. Fist to shoulder, start right into that curl. So in a tricep, we don't have any rest time. We'll do three movements, take a 30 second break, and then repeat. And then your pace depends on your weight. So if you do have lighter, you know, it depends on what you have at home. You can definitely be going faster, get more reps. Skull crushers. On 
your back looking at the ceiling. Weight is up, bending at the elbows, pressing up straight. I got 15 in each hand. break here so take your time and then this is when you kind of do an evaluation was the weight that I used heavy enough because I think I can go heavier how about you know your body I'm gonna go for 20s in my clean and press I'm gonna go up a little bit here all right roll your shoulders back brace your core we are building muscles today huh it up, press it to the sky. And when you use those heavier weights, not only are you building that muscle, but you are burning calories because you're going to set that metabolism on fire. We're going to go to those hammer curls. If you need to change your weight, I'm going to stay with my 20s. And if by the second time through you're like not struggling, I want you to go heavier. Feel like you need that little bit of break take it and come back into the reps skull crushers are the last movement in this block Ooh, I'm gonna drop into 15 once you're down you start moving bend the elbows straighten it up while you're there, brace the core, cinch up your pelvic floor. It's a good time to just close your eyes, connect to your body. chest press. I'm going to be using my 25 on your back, looking at the ceiling. Bend over row is the second movement. And then we're going to go from that right into a pec fly. Get yourself ready. You guys are going to be on your back, looking at the ceiling. Grab those heavier weights, please. All right. Again, I'm going to go 25 in each hand. A bench, this would be a great time to use that pinch. Press it up. In a chest press, press through the heels of the hands. Again, you're still bracing the core, keeping your pelvic floor engaged. up. I'm going to keep my 25. Go right into that bent over row. Back is flat. 
pulling the weights toward the hips. Pinch between those shoulder blades. I will be the last move in this tricep. Girl, you should wear an I'm gonna use 15s. On the back, look at the sky. And then you open up into your T, press through the heels of the hands to fly. Weights when they come up and in, they're right over more so the belly area. Just below the chest line. Alright, here's your rest. You have 30 seconds. Get your water. Right, and then again, you guys ask yourself, can I go heavier? Maybe you can. Right, that's all you gotta do. So you just have to try. How are you guys doing? You good? All right, you guys at home, come on your back. We're getting right here. Grab your weights. Hustle for that muscle. And three, two. We're pressing it up. Be careful what you wish for. Make you eat your words. Believe me, women, you would be surprised at how strong you really are. Just all you gotta do is try that little bit of heavier, see how you make out. Cause look at what I'm giving you. You ain't really ready for real. You ain't even ready for real. of a rose coming up after this. Flip it. Again, we're trying to stay with that same weight if you can. Pull the weights to your hips. Pinch between the shoulder blades. Soften the knees and stick that booty out, right? Baby, can you handle, handle me? If you really want it, better come get you somebody. Careful what you wish for. Make you eat your word. If I'm more than what you bargain for. I deserve, deserve. But you ain't finished in it. Much is required. Cause look at what I'm giving you. You can fly will be coming up here. Do a nice smooth transition. And this is a good time too when you're on the back. Cinch up your waist. Close your eyes. No. All right, we've got that break. We're gonna be going into a reverse fly or rear delt fly. So you're gonna hinge the chest, go into that rear delt fly. We also have a lateral raise, lots of shoulder here. And then we're gonna do a push up walk across. So those are the three moves you're gonna see. Get yourself set up. And we've got bent over flies. I'm gonna grab my, what do I got here? 12 and a half. Drop that chest. Rear delts. Opening up arms to that T by dropping the chest. I'm 
My back can be, you know, you can be completely flat or you can have a slight angle. And again, if you have those heavier weights, it's not about how many reps you can get. It's about really pushing on the edge here. This weight for my lateral raises. Standing up, arms come up to shoulder height. Okay, my weight is 12 and a half. You guys need to go faster than me. You definitely can. Ooh. Our last move will be that push up walk across. We'll start over to the right side of our mat. Weights are going to go toward the front of my mat. Come in your plank. Hands are open. Push up first and then walk across and drop in that push-up. Always drop to knees and push-ups. that break. Oh, I need it. How about you? Ooh. <sighs> Reverse fly or rear delt, whatever you want to call it. That's your first movement. Everybody's good with weights? Shake it out. <sighs> Start getting those weights in your hands. Dropping that chest. between the shoulder blades. If you have lighter weights, you could even do pinky out. Well, I'm gonna go a little angled out. Chin off your chest, so look out in front. raise. I'm trying to keep what I have. One, and then the other. Push up, walk across. Start with that push up, walk it across. break. Next three moves. You're going to be on your stomach. Palms are going to face up and they're in T. 
we're pressing up, so body weight. Then you're gonna come into a plank with one heavy dumbbell. We'll slide it through, and then we're gonna be doing an alternating curl press. All right, take a deep breath, you guys. We're gonna be on that stomach. Are you ready? Yeah. On your stomach, palms are gonna face up. Chest is lifted off the ground, but tight. All you're gonna do is lift the arms out in T for me. Palms are up. So they're not gonna be quite T, they might be down a little bit. Cinch up your butt a little and lift your chest maybe a little more. When I do the slide through plank, I'm gonna use a 20 pound dumbbell. And it'll start in my back hand, right under the shoulder. Put one dumbbell underneath that back shoulder. So open your feet up, take the front hand, grab the weight, slide it over, hand goes down and switch. As you slide through, you're gonna keep those hips quiet and really press through the hand that's on the mat. You want to have a hexagon dumbbell so it doesn't roll away from you, right? Stand up. I'm going to use my 15s. Curl press. Start with right, push it up, and left. A little across the body, press. And this one, a good range of motion. I'm gonna swipe it across the body, press it to the sky. Finish this arm up. Great job. We're gonna start from the top, on your stomach again. Help yourself out. Maybe you have that weight near you that you're gonna do the plank pass through or Change it up a little bit. So palms are facing up, let's have the palms face down. And we'll work more on the top movement. Roll your shoulders down and back. Squeeze your butt. Lift the chest, lift the arms, pull back. A little bit faster this time. And really keep the upper body off the mat if you can. You can engage your low back. Have the movement come from the shoulders from Eliza. Pinch, stay lifted. Don't lower the chest if you can, right? Movement's coming from the arm, the shoulder joint. Nose can be down. Plank, take it on up. We're gonna do that pass through. Goes underneath that one shoulder, slide it through, and then to the back. Okay, those feet need to be open up a good width of the mat. Pull into the waist. Shoulder stabilizer. Last move is that curl. I'm gonna do 20 this time. You're up. Right arm goes across. Press up. And the left.
Finish off on your other arm here. Oh, super job, okay. We're gonna get into a finisher, you guys. Give it a stretch, get a sip of water. 30 seconds of each movement. We're gonna be doing dips and bicep curls with the palms up. Three rounds of each, zero rest. So we're gonna transition from one to the other. We are pulling out a bench. For the dips, you can grab a chair. Hands outside the hips, bend and press in the dip. You can have straight legs, but make sure your butt's not too far from the bench. And you could go faster if you feel like you want to. I'm gonna just work on my range of motion here. Pulling the belly up and in. And then I'm gonna go 15 for my bicep curls. Right into the curl, palms are up. Make sure that elbow stays in one place. Fist to shoulder, super. Watch that elbow, lengthen the arm first and then bend that elbow. Back into dips, round two. Dips are a great one to do too when you're at your kids' like game or they're practicing. On a bench. Dips some push-ups. Great way to work the arms. Back into the curls. Last round, you guys. Ooh. Check that posture, right? Lock in your elbows. Don't let them flare out. jumping up there for that last one, right? All right, take that right arm, reach it up, and tricep stretch. As you're tricep stretching here, push your head into your arm and open up the chest. A little side stretch too. All right, let it go, let's do the other arm. Reach it up, tricep stretch. A little bend in it. Back out in T, round the back, hands dive through. And then open the chest. Do that again, round. Open the chest, go behind the back. 
Interlock the fingers. Open up the legs wide. We're gonna drop the chest forward. Drop the hands down here. Place your left hand down in the middle and then reach your right arm up, a little twist. Hand goes down, let's switch that twist. Both hands go down, soften the knees, roll yourself up. Ooh, let's give yourself a big inhale here. Reach it out, reach it up. Reach it back. Pull it into your heart. Touch that skin. Be grateful to this body. Let it go. Oh, ooh, how those arms feel. Mine are feeling a little shaky here. Thank you, Liza. Oh, you can hit me harder than that, girl. Come on, come on, cheeky, woo. There you go, bring it, Diane. Yes, you did awesome. Thank you, guys. If you enjoyed the workout, thumb it up, comment below. Hey, share with a friend, and I always say, work out with your friends, you guys. You're missing out. That's great accountability and great way to have some motivation and drive for you to turn up the intensity, right? Because you're gonna look at your friend and be like, come on, girl, I know you can do more, right? I know you can. You guys have an awesome day. We'll see you at the next workout. Take care. Thank you, ladies. Woo. I'll see you guys at the next workout too, yeah.